of a divine creator, but rather that we are through a series of cosmic coincidences, born of a single-celled amoeba, and then a crustacean, and then a reptile, and then a mammal, and then a gibbon ape. The theory of Darwinian evolution is so pervasive that according to a series of studies, 62% of Jew, Jews and Christians were shown to accept materialist evolution of plant and animal species as a proven fact. This is atheism, folks, that is creeping into the body of Christ. This question of cosmic identity is not insubstantial, for what we believe we are determines our destiny. If we believe we are an ape, we will act like animals. If we believe we are made in the image of God, and He calls us to be kings and priests, that we are called with responsibility to be, be as the king shepherd, to be in the image of the holy priest of Melchizedek, who is Christ Jesus. Uh, so uh, I can see in America, uh, the, the people in America, they are so privileged because uh, of the Second Amendment that uh, uh, you have the, the means to resist tyranny. Yes, and uh, so I can see it's, a, uh, it's very important for uh, America to really treasure this, uh, this God-given right and uh, not, not to give it away. I mean, that, that day you lose it, the next day you, you, I mean, you'll be like Hong Kong. And then the next day you'll be like, uh, you'll be like a, a Sun Gang and Xinjiang and, and those kinds of phrases. So myself and Ron jumped in the vehicle, uh, went out to where I assumed it was, it was the right location. And on the way back, we uh, called the State Department individuals with the DS agent, diplomatic security agents, and informed them where it was at, what route we were going to take, and asked them, hey, do you want us to come over tonight or wait till the morning to go over the route? They decided at the time to wait till the morning. So, you know, myself and Rome, we drove by the consulate probably around, I'd say, pretty close to 9 o'clock, give or take 10 minutes. And we, 
every time we drove by, you always looked down the road where the concert's at, and it was empty. There's no vehicles, no pedestrians, even on the main roads. It was just really, pretty much a really quiet night. You know, we went back to the annex, uh, talked with the team leader to let them know what we were going to do the following morning, what our, what our route was going to be, and I pretty much went in and started, you know, getting undressed and going to bed. Jack's in the room. He's just kind of on the computer talking with his wife, discussing their uh, mayhem that just popped up, which he just found out he was, his wife was pregnant that night with their third kid, I believe. So he had a bunch, lot of fun stuff going on that night. Um, probably about 10 minutes, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes after I was in the room, get a radio call. Hey, y'all, GRS team members report to the team room. Okay. Sure, it's not single. Hold it like this. Yeah, because you catch it just single, just the right time. Put down the net. All I know. Put down the net. Put down the net. bonfires you saw was stacked on three different tiers with 666 representing the demonic realm and the demonic power that is that holds together the structure of evil and oppression of the world and so as Babylon and the spiritual power of Babylon and evil is defeated by the holiness of God let's also offer a beautiful amazing grace to give glory to God from all praise uh, should be given. Please join us. Oh. 